This was a story that I actually had not covered, but this is not too far from my area. Remains found in 2022 identified as the five-year-old boy who went missing in 2003. Carroll County, Virginia. Remains found last year near, near Galax, Virginia were identified as a young boy who went missing in 2003. On September the 6th, 2022, deputies were called out to an area of Iron Ridge Road in Galax for possible human remains. Investigators determined that the remains had been in the area for a long period of time. Othram Labs in Texas uh, worked with the Sheriff's Office to uh, use forensic grade genome sequencing and they got a full DNA profile and compared them to family members. The remains were identified as that of five-year-old Logan Bowman, who had gone missing in 2003. He was reported missing in January of 2003. His biological mother, Cynthia Davis, and her then boyfriend, Dennis Shermanhorn, were charged in connection with his disappearance. Sherman Horn's charge of felony murder was dismissed in 2004 because of a lack of evidence. Davis was sentenced to 15 years for second-degree murder, according to um, WSLS-TV. The Sheriff's Office says that new charges are expected since the boy's remains have been located and identified. Now, it doesn't say here if they knew how the child died, if there was maybe a gunshot or something. It's been 20 years, and I don't know if they have that information. You may not know every little thing going on. It may be quiet for a while, but this is proof that you don't always get away with stuff. 20 years have passed, and they're, they're still working on this case. We don't give up, said Carroll County Sheriff Kevin Kemp. The story of Logan Bowman is a very sad story. He went missing January the 7th, 2003. He was only five years old. He was a white male. Logan reportedly disappeared from his home in Galax, Virginia, but his mother, Cynthia Lee Davis, did not report him missing until January the 23rd, almost two weeks after he disappeared. She and her boyfriend, Danny Shermerhorn, were subsequently charged with felony murder in Logan's case. Davis pleaded guilty and was sentenced to 15 years in prison and 20 years of pro probation. She testified against Shermerhorn. She claimed that Logan was severely scalded in the bathtub on or around January the 7th. She said she wanted to take him to the hospital but Shermerhorn told her to calm down first. Davis stated that she laid down and fell asleep, and when she woke up, Logan was gone. She says she never saw her son again. Shermerhorn, on the other hand, told that it was Davis who left the house with Logan and returned later without him. He says he believes she sold the child. Now, was what would lead, what would have led him to believe that she sold the child? Was this something that they had discussed uh, doing? Just all of a sudden, he just up and says, "Oh, um, she must have sold her kid." I don't. I can't even. I don't even know what else to say about these people. In May of 2004, a judge dismissed the murder charge against Shermerhorn, citing lack of evidence. Prosecutors were counting on Davis's evidence to convict him, but her testimony was self-serving and inconsistent. The judge did not find her credible and threw out the murder conviction, or the murder charge. <clears throat> Logan's body had not been found. Shermerhorn was convicted of one count of child neglect and sentenced to one year in jail. In September of 2022, Logan's remains were found in a wooded area in the vicinity of Iron Ridge Road. They were identified in December of 2023. Authorities stated they anticipated filing more charges in this case. This is from WSLS.
cold case heats up, remains identified as a missing boy who's been missing for 20 years. A chilling discovery 20 years in the making. The truth allows you to turn the page to that next chapter. Maybe getting justice in this case, says Dr. Kristen Middle Middleman of the Othram Chief. Well, this is the Othram Labs um, that does DNA testing. They were the ones that were able to work with the police on this case after this child's body was discovered. Carroll County Sheriff Kevin Kemp says, I had not even started the police academy yet. I was starting that very week. Logan's remains, now this was back in 2003 is what he's talking about. He had just started becoming a police officer at that time. And now he's the sheriff. Logan's remains turned up last year in Galax, Virginia in the woods. Now, for anybody... Excuse me. For anybody that's unfamiliar with Galax, Virginia, it's in um, an area near Abingdon, Virginia. In that area, as you're going uh, toward Boone, North Carolina, it's close to that area. There are some parks. I think there's a park there called Hungry Mother State Park. It's a um, There's a place called the Creeper Trail near there. It's a place where people hike and ride bikes and it's kind of a rural area there's it, the there's like a town called Marion and a few other small towns around but there's it's no there's no big major cities or anything nearby Abington uh, would probably be the closest and for local people it's probably an hour or so from Coburn Virginia um, I, I can't pinpoint the exact distance, but I know it's in that general area. So it's in southwest Virginia. Um, Logan's remains turned up last year in Galax in the woods off of Iron Ridge Road. A man from out of town bought the property and noticed a trash bag. Several months later, the company Othram got involved, a forensic genealogy company based in Texas. She says the process takes longer with older remains, but they were still able to trace it back to Logan, and she hopes that it will lead to prosecution. It's hard to prosecute a murder if you don't have a body. Kemp tells 10 News it's still too early to decide on what charges will be brought, but progress is being made. I want people to know that we haven't given up. The remains of five-year-old Logan Bowman were identified just days ago. His father, Wayne, says he'll finally be able to put his son to rest after 20 years of searching and not knowing. On Christmas Day 2002, Wayne Bowman dropped his five-year-old son, Logan, off with his mother. He said that was the last time he ever saw his son. He has been searching for him for two decades. Logan's body was discovered um, just a few miles from his father's home. I can't go back and change things, Wayne said. I wish I could. I wish I never would have taken him to her house on Christmas Day. Wouldn't you be mad if your five-year-old son just disappeared? What can we do but leave it in God's hands? Wayne said the years have been hard on him, but it's been his faith in God that's kept him going. Logan's mother and her then-boyfriend were charged in connection with Logan's disappearance. Of course, we know that the charge against the man were dropped. He was charged with neglect. He never met a stranger, said his father. He was always happy, no matter who he met. He was always smiling and playing. I'm just glad now that I can give him a proper burial. I can't say what's going to happen right now. We just take it one day at a time. The Carroll County Sheriff's Office said they had no further comment at this time. But charges are pending. His biological mother, Cynthia Davis, was charged with connection with his disappearance. Davis pled guilty to three felony charges, including two counts of child neglect and one count of murder. She was sentenced to 15 years in prison. Well, 
Um, so she would have been out of prison for probably the last five or six years if she served the full sentence. And I don't know if she did or not. I don't know. I couldn't find anything on that, but I will look. The boyfriend was sentenced to one year. He may not even have served a full year. But now she did, she was charged with his murder and she served her time. So I don't know if charges can be brought against her again. I don't know how that works. That she's already been charged with his murder and served 15 years. If there are circumstances where she can be charged with something else. I don't know what it might be unless it might be um, tampering with evidence or, you know, abuse of a corpse or something like that. But maybe possibly charges can be finally brought against this man, but they would still have that burden of proof to prove if he, you know, was the one that actually murdered the child. But either way you look at it, it's a very sad case, this family... Um, this child died tragically, uh, whether he was scalded or whether they beat him or some other type of way that he died. Um, I, I don't know. What has she sat and thought about for the last 15, 20 years um, and never came forward and just admitted to it and gave the father the story and, and uh, you know, unburdened herself. She, she'd already been tried for his murder and she was serving her time. Why couldn't she just come forward and tell what really happened and let the father go find the child's remains and lay him to rest? Thanks for watching.